Hey, what's up guys, Pav here. Today, we're gonna be layering these rap vocals that we've got here. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style for these lyrics. I'll be jotting them down. No record deal for the record. Let's take a break, take a second. Now, these vocals actually have zero effect on them. So we need to improve it. So we, basically what we're gonna be doing is adding the effect to improve these vocals. Then we're gonna be adding reverb. We're gonna be adding backing vocals and ad libs live on this video. So let's first improve these vocals. Also, I hope you guys enjoy this content. As you guys know, we pretty much upload daily here on Producer Buzz, Pad Music Production, you know how we do it. So, to get started, we're gonna click inside here, select any number. So I selected number five, click in there, and this is main effect wrap. So I already named these. Six is gonna be reverb. Um, you know, seven's gonna be the rap backing vocals, and eight is gonna be ad libs. Now, if we go on to the main effect wrap on here, click on a drop down, click on fruity multi band compressor. We're going to be compressing these vocals. Now, once we have this up, we're going to click on a drop down presets and we need to follow it down where it says vocal. Once we select that, we will see the figures on the screen change. And what we're going to have to do is take the gain on the mid, just down a notch. Don't look at the figures, just move it down a notch. And the gain on the lows, just down a notch like that. You're gonna leave everything as it is. Then we're gonna basically head back up to the stack effect and we're gonna add fruity limiter, which is right down here. This will bring up fruity limiter. And what we need to do is compress it. So at the bottom, you've got limiter and compression. We're gonna click on compression and take the threshold down to minus 2.5 decibels, something like that. Then we click on a limiter. We're gonna take this down about the same way. Now what we need to do here is we need to isolate the vocals and listen to the vocals separately. So fruity limiter on while we play this. I've been trying to make a rap song I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Now, if you take if you take the ceiling down on a, on a limiter, it's gonna remove all the vocals. Limit it. Many artists get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickland with this record. There's so much talent there for studio gangs. Love this music, part of it. I've been teaching it now, uploading daily on YouTube. I've been and once you reach that really good slot where there's not too much peaks in the highs, is where you want to keep it. So this is where we keep in that ceiling and then on the saturation we're going to run the saturation down just somewhere around here where like the mid highest is not the top highest but the mid highest just like that and then we play it back i've been trying to make a rap song i'm gonna mix it with some rap flow my rap flow is in now if we turn these off check this out i've been trying to make a rap song I'm gonna mix and it with some rap flow. With the effect. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style for these lyrics. I'll be jotting them down. No record deal for the Without record. Them. Let's take a break, take a second. And now, guys, what we need to do is we basically need to EQ this. So we add the compression limiter and we add in a final equalization onto this. So we select another drop down and through to EQ2. And on this, what we're gonna do is click on the drop down, presets, and select vocal presence. We're gonna move up the first slot, move up the second slot, just a little bit. And this slot, if you've got really high voice, you're gonna take it down a bit. If you've got normal voice, just leave it in the middle. If you've got really deep voice, take it up. You want it brighter. But for my instance, I've got quite a high pitched voice. I'm just going to take it down a bit, just like that. So this is before how it sounded, without the effect. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm going to mix it with some rap flow. 
My rap flow is improved. And I'm now with the effect, with these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record deal for the record. Let's take a break, take a second. Many artists, as you guys can see, it already sounds brighter and better, but it's still not there. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a reverb on this channel. Now um, I just created another channel effects. You guys can name it, put it on any number you want, and. On here, I'm just going to click on a drop down and I'm going to select Reverb 2. And once you get this window up on here, all you're going to do is click in here, drag it down a bit like that, and turn the wetness up a bit and the dryness down a bit, just like that. Okay, guys, and now we're going to be adding in Reverb. Now, we're not going to create a new channel, we're actually going to generate the Reverb inside a mixer and we're going to bus send the feed from the main wrap to the reverb we just added a reverb effect so we're going to click on the main wrap which is channel 5 or whatever your channel you guys have got and on this little arrow where the reverb is we're just going to click on it and now this channel is sending the feed to the main reverb which is up here okay and now if we play the track you, you will see that this reverb is imitating the same um, sound input that's coming in to the main effect, including the channel stack effect as well. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm going to mix it with some rap flow. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move the reverb down, all the way down, and play the vocals and move it up until we find that beautiful reverb spot. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style for these lyrics. I'll be jotting them down. No record deal for the record. Now that sounds great. Just a slight reverb, not too much. So the actual input is 23%. If you look at the hymn panel at the top right here, where my mouse is, when I move this up and down, the figure changes. This is 23%. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow My rap flow is improved, I'm inspiring style For these lyrics I'll be jotting them down No record deal for the record Let's take a break, take a second Many artists get signed up in Peckham Shoreditch and Bricklane with this record There's so much talent there for studio gangs Though this music part of it, I've been teaching it now Uploading daily on YouTube, I've been working it out So scrap for more, F for studio wow F for studio wow So there we go Okay guys, and now we've got this, we're going to record the backing vocals. So I'm going to be using the same microphone, no effects. All I'm using on here, as you guys can see, is a sound goodizer with A input, literally 75%. And just a Burton denoiser, which kind of just gives me a um, better sound. If I didn't have it on, there's a little bit of noise at the background, so I just turn that down and turn that up midway which removes any background and gives me studio quality mic input I'll, i will leave a link in more description to this so you can get the burton denoiser and now we're going to record so you need to set your mic input and need to record from this channel and also i'm going to scroll up and make sure i don't have any other channels selected red so there's no other red channels there's no other mic input. Now I'm going to record right over this. I'm going to right click on here and select audio. Make sure that we're recording audio. Press record. And as I start recording, I'm going to start rapping. I've been trying to make a rap, rap song. song. I'm going to mix it with some rap, rap flow. flow. My rap flow is improved. I'm, I'm inspiring style. style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting, jotting them down. down. No record deal for the record. record. Let's take a break, take, take a, a second. second. Many artists get signed, signed up in Peckham. Peckham. Shoreditch and Bricklane with this record. record. There's so much talent there for st Okay, so that's what I wanted. I just wanted some backing vocals, which I've got on here. This is channel 7. So this is backing vocals. So let's put that on here. I've been trying to make a rap song. Now on the backing vocals, again, we're going to add Fruity Multiband Compressor and on the settings here, what we're going to do, okay, move up the gain a little bit on the lows, just a little bit and over here, just move everything up just slightly a little bit, just like that. 
I've been trying to make a rap song. And then on the volume input, we're gonna take it down a bit. Just like that. I've been trying to make a rap song. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record deal for the record. Let's take a break, take a second. Many artists get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickley. And now we have to go and record the backing vocals. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Uh huh. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record deal yeah. for the record. Uh -huh. Let's take a break, take a second. Many artists yeah. get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickland with this record. I so much talent at for studio yeah. game. So there we go. So there's the backing vocals. We're gonna select these and drag them down. Just like that. And let's play that back. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Uh huh. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspired. So again, gonna move them up a bit. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Uh huh. My rap flow is improved. Now we're gonna double click in here and we're gonna select channel eight, which is the last channel, the ad libs. And on the ad libs, all we're gonna do here with the effects is click in here. And we're gonna select the fruity EQ. We're kind of looking for this little wave that I have on the screen until it sounds perfect. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Uh huh. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record yeah. though for the record. Uh -huh. Let's take a break, take a second. Many yeah. artists get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickland with this record. And we can double these rap vocals if we want to make it a bit stronger and make it stand out more. All we got to do is hold shift, click on here and drag it up and align it so it's in the same path. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm going to mix it with some rap flow. Uh -huh. My rap flow is improved. And if it's too loud, we just go here and take it down minus one decibel, just like that. I've been trying to make a rap song. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with some rap flow. Uh -huh. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record yeah. though for the record. Uh -huh. Let's take a break, take a second. Many yeah. artists get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickland with this record. Yeah. There's so much talent there for studio yeah. game. Now, some people also like to add reverb to their backing vocals. So if you just double click onto the backing vocals, double click into the effect of the backing vocals we can go at the side here and add reverb now this is optional you leave everything as it is turn it halfway i've been trying to make a rap song yeah. i'm gonna mix it with some rap flow uh -huh. My rap flow is improved. I'm inspiring style. For these lyrics, I'll be jotting them down. No record deal yeah. for the record. Uh -huh. Let's take a break, take a second. Many uh -huh. artists get signed up in Peckham, Shoreditch, and Brickland with this record. Yeah. There's so much talent there for studio yeah. game. And that's it.